Hello and welcome back to another Strong Collector's Quick Update. Today we saw the new Infinity Saga Avengers. So we've got some new MCU figures coming. I think these come out uh, by the time I get this edit, it'll be t tomorrow, today. It'll come out on Thursday. So uh, whether you're watching this on Wednesday or Thursday, know that Thursday is the day to pre order these. We don't know the price on these. I think these were. Were these 25 when the last Infinity Saga ones came out? I don't remember. I was going to say 24.99 as my guess for a price, but Right. I hope they're not more. To double check. So, anyway, let's get into what was actually revealed today. Um some of these are going to be redos of older figures that we've had and some of them are going to be first time figures. So, first up, we've got Thor from Dark World. Um he comes with an extra set of hands. So you've got open hands and gripping hands. There's yeah, at least got to be maybe, one. Let me maybe see. Maybe at least one both, gripping hand. Yeah, both are gripping and hands. Then, okay. So then open hands. Then you got an alternate head and Mjolnir. So I don't know what's up with this alternate head. I'm glad they have two heads in well, here. <laughs> it reminds me of, remember the uh, Odin? Remember where he had yeah, two heads or he had three right. heads. One was helmeted and two unhelmeted, but like the two unhelmeted were like weren't different enough that I think, it almost didn't I think make it was sense. Just two heads. I think it was two heads because the helmet oh, came on and off. That's right. But you're either right, way, right. the two heads. I was like, why are there two head? Like right. Like like look at me. This is this is head number one, and this is head number two. <laughs> oh, this is number two. Number one. <laughs> He showed well, it, like it wasn't like yeah it wasn't enough to be like he's yelling or rimacing. Right. it was just like <laughs> it's like okay um yeah. this one I don't know <laughs> it's it's at least different enough like he just looks I don't know what he's on but he looks like he's chilling man <laughs> <laughs> well it looks like they were trying to maybe get like the goofy Thor mm -hmm. look but he's not really goofy and dark world so it doesn't really make sense to yeah me. i don't know um i don't know i mean i previously this one was in the two pack with sif right mm -hmm. so i i guess if you you miss that one yeah like i had said like before form. savannah and i's first date was going to thor dark world oh yeah that's true so that part like if he goes on clearance i'll consider it probably keep him in the box because i don't have any other mcu figures to really display him with um, that would be the only thing that even tempts me to buy him. But I agree. If you've got that other one, is there really a need for this? And even if you don't have that other one, is there a need for this? But that's just the first one. Next up, I think one that's yeah, maybe a little bit more necessary. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm still looking at that Thor head. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really even look like him though. No, it doesn't. It looks, I, I, that's, it looks I'd like, seen somebody in the like groups it, commented that it was, it looked like the like actor Thor, like when they're doing the yeah, play. Yeah, that was my thought. When they is it not it's Matt like, Damon? I thought, I thought Matt it was Damon's Matt Damon. Playing Loki. Oh, you're Matt right, you're Damon, right. I think is Loki, and then I don't remember who's playing Thor, but yeah, yeah, he looks like that version of Thor. Yeah, so maybe that is what it's supposed to be. It's just not a clear picture of it. Um, but then the second figure is going to be War Machine from Civil War. So we've gotten this. I think this was in the Hulkbuster wave, possibly. I don't remember. We, we've definitely gotten a War Machine like this before. Uh, it came, comes with those same accessories as the last one, same accessories that came with the Punisher War Machine. I would assume that mm -hmm. maybe you get a little bit smoother articulation, because I do remember these Infinity Saga figures being pretty nice. Like... When yeah, I was the moving them and posing them. I liked them. Yeah, I remember that Iron. You were pretty impressed by the Iron Man. Yeah. I thought. So, so, hopefully, it's the same quality. I guess we don't know though. Yeah, I hope. And and those figures are. It's been a little while, so who knows? Maybe they've totally just tanked the quality. But I've got high hopes. You know, don't come at us if we're wrong and they really lower the quality here. But sticking with Civil War. The next figure we get is a Spider-Man. He's coming with fisted hands and thwipping hands and an alternate unmasked uh, Tom Holland head. 
So, I mean, it's his first appearance. We've gotten it before. The web lines aren't painted. I know some people are going to be upset about that. Mm, Especially after just getting the No Way Home three-pack. Lines are painted there, although you were paying $30 per Spider-Man. So if this does end up being $30, that's a ripoff. But we're going to hope that this is $25. I know you're mad, Dakota. He doesn't come with that amazing web accessory that you love so much. Right, yes. Those all-important web accessories. (laughs) I don't think I remember... One time I was with you opening that, and you're like, this is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just throw these away. <laughs> yeah, this, I no, those, especially the long line, the long lines, pointless. I mean, maybe you could, like, hang them from a ceiling or something, but I don't know, not me. I um, wish they'd get the Mafex tech. That'd be fun. Yeah, I agree. Bendy wire should be used for web effects, not you for just, tails. Like, them, like, on the circle around the, I think those work pretty well, mm-hmm. which they seem simple, but yeah, whatever. Um, after him still sticking with civil war, civil war is getting all the attention for this wave. We've got the, what is this? Mark 48, mark 40, 46, 46 Iron Man. So I think this one came out in the abomination wave. Maybe, maybe this was also Hulk buster wave, something like that. We've gotten this before. Um, comes with the Tony Stark head, the normal Iron Man blast effects, open hands and fisted hands. Pretty sure this looks very similar. So if you want this figure, I've got one right now for sale for 10 bucks. Um, Wow. Not sure if it's exactly the 46, but I don't know the difference. So it doesn't come with a Tony Stark head. I'll give you that. So, um, ah, no need. Uh, It's like I said, though, I, I really liked that old Iron Man the one that came in the last infinity saga. So if this is a similar iron man in like the way the joints move and everything, and I will say this one does look a little bit, at least for me, I kind of like the brighter colors. I think this is a little brighter than the last one we got. I was Um, just thinking that you could see people wanting, well, I guess they've released Tony Stark heads before. Right. I mean, if you could find this one, I could see people maybe wanting Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So this one, I think, Mm, I think maybe I would want there'd be a bigger need for War Machine, but yeah, Iron Man, this one is it's fine. It's yes. Classic red Iron Man, kid walking down the store shelf is going to see it and know it's Iron Man. That same kid walking down the store shelf might be Speaking a little bit more Iron Man. <laughs> disappointed in this next Iron Man, although I think the hardcore collectors will be more excited, is the Model 2 Iron Man, which is just that chromed out silver Iron Man before mm-hmm. he gets it all painted. Um, the first one after getting back to civilization. So I know this one is probably the one that collectors are most excited about, which I'm a little surprised, but it is the one armor armor in the collection that hasn't been made. Like we've said, the war machine has been made. The Mark 46 has been made. This one has not. I think we got the Mark one with a two pack with. Mm. Maybe we didn't. Did we ever get a Mach 1 from the movie? I know there's like a kind of Marvel Legends adjacent version. Yeah, I've had that one. I don't think it was a legend, so yeah. it was like... I don't know. They kind of did a weird thing where like... I think we remember listening to this in the uh, oral history of Marvel Legends, but I think he talked about like they were kind of doing their own thing, but it was mm. kind of Hasbro, but... Okay. So yeah, I think it came out of that wave. So I don't think we've seen a proper legends one okay so maybe that's I, that one probably would have made more sense to make than the mach 46 but maybe you don't want to make a mach one and two that's they don't want to be sequential like that i don't know keep you wanting something that would have been a lot of new tooling this is just a straight up yeah you gotta, you gotta keep us on our toes <laughs> yeah um <clears throat> so yeah that this one is i think the exact same except it comes with less accessories than the previous um infinity war line did that one came with a Wonder ton of different stuff. Yeah. Like, I think it had two like open faced um, yeah, Iron the Man fold help. out like right kind of the flares. flares. Yeah. Yep. So I could see. Do you think people might want this one to like paint it or something? Yeah, I could see that. I mean, for me, anytime I think about painting an Iron Man, I want to make the Amalgam Comics uh, Iron Lantern. Oh, that's right. 
So I thought about doing that with the AI Iron Man. Haven't done it yet. Maybe I'll eventually get around to it. But then if I have him, then I'm going to have to do other customs of the amalgams. So. And you got to make them all. <laughs> it's a slippery slope. You'll be doing slope. that for the rest of the year. <laughs> or longer. Those That would probably be very high on my list of figures I wish could be made. Is those amalgam, like Dark Claw and Spider Boy, those kind of things. But what scale would they be in, Dakota? <laughs> it better be 112. I'm not going to... Well, I'm saying, like... Are they going to be Todd seven inches oh, I see, I or Legend see. six inches? That'd be the great debate. I would want Hasbro to do it. I don't want Todd touching them. Sorry, Todd. Well, I'm just saying if they were DC, you know, they'd probably have to be something like that. Yeah, if they were Marvel yeah. Legends articulation, then whatever size, I don't really have too much of a preference. Let's move on to Captain America and the Winter Soldier. We're going to be getting a stealth suit. Yes, Captain America from there. I don't remember this shield. Does he have this shield in the movie? Why don't yeah, I remember that? Yeah, just, just on that, I think that scene on the boat. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, I'm just wondering who sat down to paint that for him in the movie. Did he paint it himself? <laughs> Are they made some two? some shield agent, just they gave him some paint? Well, the thing is, they can't replicate the shield, so they right. would have had to just repaint it. That's what I was just thinking. Did they, you couldn't like how expensive is Captain America's shield? Like they're gonna spend that much money just for us different colors? Doesn't make sense. Got to paint it. But then what? You Gotta I don't know. It. Yeah. My question is: Is it gonna have that clip on it? I or don't think do it does. I think those we can see. All right. And I guess not in the pictures I have with me right now. But I saw somebody else posting pictures of kind of more dynamic pose where it's you see the underside of it and it looks like the same shield Straps. as. Yeah, for, that came with the Falcon Captain America. Hmm. So, no clip. Although this one does mm-hmm. look kind of weird with the way the paint was molded. Like, usually I don't care about the marbling, but this one just looks Yeah, it looks kind goofy. of goofy. Marbled. Yeah, like really bad. So, if that's an issue for you, then you're probably going to get annoyed with this shield, but... I don't know. I think the yeah, unmasked an head. Alternate head. Yeah, I was gonna say that unmasked head looks pretty good. I still like. Did we? Yeah, I guess we did. In the. Do we get an America's ass, Captain America? That first uh, costume. Like the first Avengers. Yeah. One? Yeah. Because if we did, it would have been like one of those old waves, and I can't really remember. I, I think in that like Walmart exclusive Avengers mm-hmm. wave. Okay. But even then, that was kind of older yeah. tech. So I feel like that would have been... I feel like if they updated that, people mm-hmm. would want that. Yeah. And I think... I mean, again, I'd, I'd seen some excitement for this one, so it's not like nobody wants it, but I do think that that first costume from the Avengers would have probably caused a little bit more of a stir. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Uh, then, getting into Avengers Infinity War, we've got a Bruce Banner... So just your regular Mark Ruffalo civilian form. Um, this is now... Did we get a Mark Ruffalo before? Or is this our first one? Because I, I can't remember... It's... Where else would we have gotten one? I just didn't know if it was, like again, one of those like early Avengers movie Mark Ruffalos, but I don't think we did. So, I don't think so. All right, second Bruce Banner in the line. <laughs> I kind of love how he... Co- is it those fists? Yes. I don't know if Bruce Banner ever makes a fist in any of those movies. <laughs> well, I think it's maybe you can kind of get him to like uh, transforming, maybe. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. That's but then my he's thought. got the same face. Yeah, I he's definitely the lightest uh, in the accessories department. He's only got. I think they could have given him like a, yeah, like you just said, like a uh, face. Or... Right. Give it half green. Oh, that would have. Because, yeah, they do, do, do mm-hmm. that in the movie where it's like his skin starts turning green. So, yeah. I saw. I. At least the chatter I saw, people seem most excited about this one to me. Yeah, I think that's what um, I was seeing too. Which I get. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, especially if you're an MCU person, he's the mm-hmm. one figure that like hasn't really been touched at all. I don't think. But I haven't touched I him. <laughs> touched you. Um, so yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised that they did, like, a whole checkered pattern on the shirt. Right. Um, they could have just cheaped out and just given him a plain colored shirt and been like, 
mm -hmm. whatever, but yeah, the pockets on it kind of look similar to the two packs Peter Parker that we got, like the animated series Peter Parker. Yeah, it's just like the pockets seem a little bit bigger, not so suited, but maybe it's also just a normal suited body. I don't know for sure. Yeah, I don't know. They they could have done a little bit better on the accessories here, but it's okay. Mark Ruffalo is also just recently cast in the uh, A Court of Roses and Thorns. Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh. I've been telling you to read that, Jordan. If listeners See how out many there, of our listeners have. If you're out there and you're an Actar fan, let me know in the comments. Then Avatar? our last Actar, A Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh, is that what they call it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then the last figure we get, we're going back to Captain America Winter Soldier, and we're going to get ourselves a Black Widow. This one, I think I also, no, I don't have, I have the same kind of body, this, not the best body for a Black Widow. They did update the arms, she's got double pinless arms now. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to sell this Black Widow, I think I actually did just sell her this week for $5, $8 maybe. Uh, but this one does come with some extra accessories. You got the short haired look, you got the long haired look, um, trigger hold or trigger hands, fisted hands, two pistols, and a stinger effect. Which these are new stinger effects that we haven't seen before. So, are those like poured on or? I think they. Really yeah, I think they could probably go over her um, fist, fisted hands. Maybe they kind of clip on, like you know, clip. Mm. It's just kind of open. Right. Um, I think it probably would have been better if it was like a full, like you have to port the hand over kind of like a wrist cuff, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to bet on it. I don't see any pictures right now. I'll, I'll flash some more pictures up on the screen, but, um, yeah, I don't, I can't tell for certain, but and that's that, right? Yeah. That is all the figures. I think I've also seen a lot of people excitement, excited about the black widow. I think. Yeah. Did we ever get a Iron Man 2 Black Widow? Because I feel like that one would have been what people were more excited about. Yeah. I mean, maybe the thought is like, there's enough Black Widows out there. You can just True. pop and swap the heads to get the right look you want. Because, I mean... I mean, that one is probably the closest to like a classic looking Black Widow, right? I mean, the it's not Iron so... Man 2 one? Right. Like one. Her first appearance. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think they kind of very, like, slightly would change in every movie. But mm -hmm. it's kind of that thing where they almost feel the need to change your suit every movie for every character, yeah. which sells more toys. That's so. what I was going to say. That's, I, I wonder if that is actually the, the reason they do that. I'm sure, dude. Because otherwise, what be. would be the point? Like, just yeah, keep using the same costume. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. yeah, I mean, overall, like, I don't think i'm getting any of these but same for the people who want and collect mcu like mm -hmm. i think it's cool it kind of reminds me of that interview um with the hasbro guys saying you know it was the shortest one but being like you know not i guess for me when people respond and are like screw you hasbro for doing an mcu wave it's like yeah. I, I don't really mind and i think we've talked mm -hmm. about this before because it's just like well save some money exactly <laughs> this time around yeah if you don't but, want these you got more money for the next thing that you do want so that, yeah i'm i'm never upset by figures that i don't want i mean if there's like a long stretch of you haven't seen anything you wanted in six months maybe you're getting a little antsy you got some money burning a hole in your pocket but eventually that's when you, that's when you go to dakota and just buy some old merch i got figures for sale <laughs> I, I got mcu stuff i got <laughs> comic stuff <laughs> you just start turning this into a show where you just plug your sales the whole time and if you want to buy this action figure <laughs> i will sell it to you right now for a very low low price and that's not all i'll also throw in this electra without a foot <laughs> I feel like that could be one of our sh well i don't know how we can use marvel legends on shirts but that could be a shirt it's just like an electra foot but just without the actual foot her stump of a foot I'm sure we could figure something out. yeah try to find those uh couple of creative guys <laughs> all right i think that's all we've got on 
this update. What do you guys think? Are you going to pick up any of them? Or you like Jordan and I that are going to save a little bit of money and then maybe spend it on the HasLab? Speaking of the HasLab, go back and watch that video because we got a giveaway going. You've got your choice of a Spider-Man No Way Home 3 pack. Those web lines are painted on there, baby. <laughs> or you have your choice of a pre-order for the McFarlane Gold Label Batman and Batmobile 89 two-pack. So go get your comments in there. Rules and everything are on that video that'll be up here somewhere over here for your clicking and easy viewing pleasure. Pleasure? I don't know about pleasure. I, I didn't know if pleasure worked there. I didn't want to be I weird. I hope people get pleasure from watching our videos. We hope yeah. that we pleasure you with our <laughs> sounds that come out of our mouths. <laughs> now that we've pleasured you so much, <laughs> like the video, <laughs> share the video to pleasure the others <laughs> and subscribe so we can pleasure you again <laughs> oh my gosh and now that you're fully pleasured <laughs> stay strong ladies and gentlemen I'd like to talk to you about toys these toys are in my bedroom. <laughs> they see everything. <laughs> Man of these toys could talk. The stories they could tell. <laughs> and and these are their stories. <laughs> Oh man, that's that's good. All right, I think we're gonna have to do a whole episode like that sometime. We just, just both sit over the microphone. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. I'm your host Dakota. <laughs>